So now like uh, you have run into this kind of issues and everything, like it's unmanageable and everything reusable. So these are the common challenges that we actually faced. This is in the real world scenario when you don't have a game plan for developing the application. So unreadability is the first thing we discussed already. The customer comes back to you requesting for the changes or upgrade and everything, but you do not know, okay? So like you don't even recognize the code, what it does. So you do waste a lot of time. On the usability, like I discussed, if your code is very application uh, specific, then like it is going to be unreusable. Uh, unscalable, we have already discussed, you just need to throughput, you can increase or decrease. In extensibility, like you cannot add new feature very easily, okay? Because like, like again, like it goes back to the unreusable aspect, like it's very application specific in nature. And uh, the worst case scenario is like your application has to be rewritten again. Okay, when you have to rewrite the code again, uh, you are going to waste a lot of time, energy, and money. A lot of time is like uh, actually wasted, and not because like uh, you are going to develop the application from scratch, just trying to like uh, figure out like uh, what was going on the application. So there are like other uh, scenarios as well. Like uh, we'll go into like a little bit more deeper. Uh, one of the thing is like uh, whenever you are developing the application, like. Uh, the next time, the first time, like it might take a lot of time, but the next time, like uh, it should not take the same amount of time. It should calm down drastically. Okay, that is the main objective of uh, you know following all the uh, ways. And let's look into the motivation. So now, like uh, we understood the challenges and everything. Now our motivation is longevity of application, so that the application can last faster. For example, uh, one of the example I gave you is like uh, you know the in the our giants are female. Uh, I gave you the example of the like uh, you know the Mars orbiter okay from ISIRO. So their project is not like uh, you know develop the application and forget about it. Their project is longer. For example, like uh, they tried like uh, you know Chandrayaan like uh, lunar missions and like the Mars missions and everything. And even like the uh, same goes with like a lot of like large hadron collider and all these kind of large projects and even into the commercial projects as well. Like uh, you cannot actually rewrite the code from scratch. For example, like a lab view itself, you cannot write in a day or in a year itself. So these are the major aspects. Another objective is like, uh, you are not going to rewrite the entire code from scratch. It is going to waste a lot of time and energy and money as well. And you want to improve the code reusability, which is going to in turn is going to help longevity of the application and uh, add functionality without changing existing code. We'll come into this one again. It's what we refer as extensibility, okay? Adding new feature. For example, like a lab view is getting new feature each and every time because of its extensibility. Now, flexible and robust code, like uh, it's basically means like uh, it's easier to modify. And then if you want to make some changes, like uh, the application does not break, okay? It will be like a far more easier to uh, update and modify. Now, like uh, coming back, now what do you mean by the developer experience? Okay, so as a developer, like uh, the main reason why we are into the GLA Summit uh, in Crux is basically like uh, we're trying to improve our developer experience. Because like uh, if you do not know how to do it, then like uh, you will end up in the mess and you will go into the mess again and again. So like a developer experience is nothing but a metric, which easy, which how easier, okay, how easier it is to for the developer to code and maintain an application, okay? It's not what, but like uh, how you have written a code. Because like uh, any person can write a code, like uh, it can do a specific task and like uh, achieve the same functionality, but like uh, the code may not be maintainable. We'll look into that aspect in a moment. Okay, so developer experience can be improved by writing re a readable code we discussed already, okay, which are as reusable as possible. And uh, a properly written reusable code will allow the developer develop applications rapidly and support action. We'll look into this one again. Okay? What is the meaning of this one in a moment? So if you want to how it goes is like uh, it always has to uh, start with the learning experience actually. But most of the time, like uh, people will jump immediately into developing because like most of the people have this impression that you know lab is too easy or like okay you just need to develop it yes it is easy you can uh, develop the application very uh, easily like if you just need to like uh, develop some express application you just need to acquire some data process it and everything but if you want to develop larger application which has to maintainable for a long time you have to undergo the learning experience for example like all the presentations you are going through uh, throughout this GLA summit are part of the learning experience, okay? You know like how to deal with common problems and everything. And after that comes the user experience, finally, okay? So in, initially in the beginning, like the user does not really care about like uh, whether you know how to develop it or not. 
how you develop it, they don't really care. They only care about the results. And if your user experience is better, then like uh, you, the customer experience is better. That basically means if you are getting the customer complaints coming back and back again, times and again, then your customer experience is not good. So the lesser the interaction the customers with you, the better your user experience. Okay. So that's why like uh, uh, if it comes back with a five star, that's good. Like uh, if it doesn't come back or complaints comes, then you are actually doing something bad with the learning experience actually. Okay. And which in turn is going to like uh, impact your developer experience and then user experience and everything. It is a cascading effect. And now like uh, how to uh, improve your developer experience. Like I said, like a GLA Summit is one of the way to improve your uh, developer experience. That's why like a community is in the bottom. Uh, similarly, you can undertake the education and training from ENI and Alliance Partners, as well as our company called Graphitex. Uh, and you can use like a library tools and APIs which are readily available from like a BI package manager, uh, YAN IPM and so on. So you don't need to rewrite the entire code from scratch. The main objective of DS is not only to develop the application but to save time and energy. If the reusable code is already available, you don't need to reinvent the wheel as Jeff Kodesky says. So the next thing is like uh, ease to use and change. These are the things you should be able to modify it very easily. And uh, documentation and support is very, very important. You can find a lot of documentation in the Yana website and everything. Uh, I know, like in the beginning, like it's a lot of information over there. But like uh, if you persist or you find someone like a world or you come to this kind of events, you can actually wade it through. Now, like uh, there are certain technical ways of improving developer experience. Three things. So Yana recommended guidelines, is more. I'll not go into much into this one. Uh, and then like I will go into that one. These three are like a more general ways to do it. Uh, design pattern is the third one, which we'll be covering here. So we discuss about like why it is so, okay? Why we have to follow this. Now, uh, as you know, okay, this is a global like uh, lab view architect summit. Uh, people are coming from all over the world, uh, speaking different languages from different uh, demographic and everything. And where I stay in Bangalore, like uh, we, we are actually in the state of called Karnataka, uh, which speaks like a Kannada language. And there are like a different states which speaks like a completely different languages. Okay. They have got their own native language. And even during in this like a GLA summit as well, if we try to present the presentation in our own native languages or the languages that we prefer to use, the communication is impossible. The same goes with the previous slide. Yana recommended guidelines, sports and design patterns is so that like uh, this is the language you have to use while developing the lab view application. Okay. For example, here we are using English to communicate with each other. Same way you are going to use these three so that like uh, your application is going to develop, like uh, you, will go, you will be able to develop the application uh, to improve your like a developer experience. Now like uh, we we'll look into like uh, the need for design pattern. Okay. So let's say like uh, you have a team of developers. And uh, we, you got a team of developers, and then like uh, you have to give them, you have given them the task to develop their application, and each of them are going to develop the application independently, okay, without consulting with each other, without discussing anything. They are going to develop the application, and the outcome is like uh, each developer, each obviously is able to complete the full functionality. For example, you run the VI or run the application, all of them does the things as expected. Everything works very well. Uh, no issue with that one. This is where the user experience, user is happy, okay? But the problem is, the challenge is now, each developer uses on unique process. For example, like a people, some people are like, uh, you know, comfortable with object-oriented programming, somebody with a task approach, somebody actor, somebody uh, with like, uh, you know, <laughs> for example, like a code and fix method, prototyping, whatever they know, okay? Some people might be like uh, searching the code from somewhere else and making use of it. Although you are, you have been able to complete the full functionality, still, each of if each of them are going to use the different approach, the unique process is neither the standardized nor replicable by others. The issue is now, let's say like uh, there are three members in your team, who, uh, all three of them uses their own approach to develop the approach. What actually happens is, let's say like a one guy leaves the company or goes on a holiday or something like that. Now like the rest of the people have to maintain that code. So in that case, like uh, since it is not standardized, you will not be able to recognize it. That's why like uh, 
it's very, very important that we use the design time. Okay. 